So this is gonna be my last video of the day. Sorry for spamming your sub boxes with so many videos. I apologize for that. I didn't really uh, intend to do that, but I just got out of hand with the videos and all of these stuff. So basically, I'm gonna highlight the main points of this episode, my favorite points. One of them was Orochimaru versus Sasori and David. I, I was like, oh crap, because the thing is, I really like that moment that was my favorite moment because um Sazori sent out the third Kasakage puppet and then Orochimaru sent out the reanimated body of the third Kasakage and they clashed and stuff and basically um the third Kasakage um reanimation just had some of his will left and he was like I refuse to be a pawn. I'm the third Kasekage. And then he just broke out of the reanimation jutsu and just collapsed. And after that, Orochimaru ran away. I really liked that scene. That was just cool seeing both the third Kasekages just clashing together. That was really cool. Also, I like the recruitment. I really like the recruitment of um, Hidan. He was just immortal, preaching the word of Jason or some crap. He's basically... Jason is a god that allows killing, no without punishment, and that's why he's preaching. And basically, when they heat on him, fight, and he takes one of heat on his heart. And another thing, uh, like Itachi said, he's like, I still don't know why he's immortal. I still, me too, Itachi. I still don't know why the hell is heat on immortal. I always wanted to know that, but we are never going to get the revelation of that. Maybe, maybe. Hidan comes from a village where he killed all the villagers and somehow became immortal because of a jutsu. Hey, that could be a guess, but till this day, nobody knows why he's immortal. He's just a psychopath that kills people. That's immortal. That's a, So that's really bad if you think about it. And the last point I wanted to highlight, the last scene I really like, was when Itachi was like, yes, I'll take the Leaf Village mission because uh, Orochimaru created a sound village and all this stuff and attacked the leaf with the sand and sound because he wants to see if his brother is safe is sasuke safe and kisami is, is joking around saying oh so even you ha still have some feelings for the, your birthplace and itachi's lying crap say no 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 i don't like itachi come on well he has to do that because if he says yes then um, the akatsuki could be like maybe you hold some value maybe you still Light, love your village and then in the future we come to attack it then you might try to stop us so they might see him as a traitor overall a lot of things happening in this episode but those are the points i really wanted to highlight this episode is really well done once again once again the animation at some parts were clunky and stuff i noticed it right away since i watched dragon ball super episode 5 every anime i watch now i noticed little miss like bad things in the animation like I, I like i'll even stop the episodes i just see like a face drawn incorrectly or something or body shapes look weird so yeah overall because i don't want to make this video too long and because you already seen all of this already but it was just nice to see david as a young guy and all these stuff um I'm going to give this episode a 7.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, remember to rate, comment, subscribe to my channel, girl. And have a great day. Peace. And this fell.